Welcome to the second YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be ranking fast foods from my best to worst to never had. Oh, fresh. Actually, not not bad. I'll give it a C tier. Haven't had it in a couple years. There's, there's actually a decent amount that I haven't had so far. S tier, Chick-fil-A. 100%. Raising Cane's. The best. S tier as well, actually. The reason it goes up the S tier is because it's open till like 2 or 3 in the morning here. Denny's is considered fast food? I wouldn't consider this fast food, but I'll go C tier. Denny's is all right. Domino's Pizza. In terms of pizza, I'll give that a solid B tier. Culver's. No, I haven't had girl Culver's. Uh, Boston Market, haven't had that either. Blimpy, don't know what that is. Bojangles, I've had before, but only like once. Same with Checkers. Church's Chicken. A lot of these are East Coast restaurants, and I'm on the West Coast, so there's a lot that I haven't had on this list. Carl's Jr., oof. We've, we've recategorized. We're good. This is S tier, A tier, B. Yeah, we're good. Five guys, also A tier. Again, Carl's probably should be B tier, but the only reason it's A tier is the Western Bacon Cheeseburger, and that's freaking amazing. Five guys is S food, B price. Actually, true. If we're not counting how much five guys costs, S tier. Actually, screw it. I still go to five guys when I'm feeling it, and it hits every time. I'm keeping it at S tier. Dairy Queen, F tier. Actually, like C tier. Jack in the Box. I've heard it's gotten better, but I haven't had it in a couple years. F tier. Burger King's like a B tier. Oh, Chipotle, dude. Chipotle's S tier, man. Del Taco's good for the price, but I just, I've had so many of those tacos growing up that I just, they're so greasy and I just can't do it. Del Taco's F tier for me. KFC, never been a fan. F tier. Little Caesars, actually the worst pizza place you could go to. Jollibee, I don't remember. Anything that I don't, like, I haven't had in the last five years, I'm going to put as never had. Papa John's. Believe it or not, I think Papa John's is S tier. I think it's better than Domino's, but it costs more. But oh my gosh, they crush it on the crust. Mm. I feel like B tier. Honestly, growing up, McDonald's was like C or F tier for me. But recently, I feel like McDonald's has gotten better and nicer. I'll go B tier for McDonald's. Yeah, Panda's A tier. You're right. You're right. In and out burger. F tier. Just kidding. I'm from Southern California. I freaking love it. S tier. In and out is not the best burger you are ever going to have in your life. Like so many people will tell you. It is a fantastic burger that is not very expensive. And it will always hit. Arby's. <clears throat> I heard Arby's like stepped up their game recently. But honestly, I couldn't care less to go try it. F tier. I'm, I'm actually going to put IHOP on B tier and Denny's up to A tier. The only reason Denny's goes up is because of their value menu. El Pollo Loco. Mm, definitely better than Del Taco, but probably not better than Baja Fresh. That's fair. Jimmy Jones is like, it's not bad, but I feel like Subway's better, but Subway's inconsistent. I think Subway and Jimmy Jones are probably both B tier. Pizza Hut? C B tier. Jersey Mike's? Ask the same as Jimmy Jones. Actually, I'm moving both these down here. I still have yet to try the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'll go C tier for it for now. Quiznos is literally below F. Like, like I've tried it, but I wish I never tried it. Can I just put it? Should I just put it in never had? Oh, you like Subway? You're gonna hate Quiznos. That should be their slogan. I think Shake Shack's got to be S tier. Way overpriced. But man, is that a good burger. Sabaro Pizza? I mean, you can't really go wrong, but I've never been like, man, this is great pizza. Uh, it's probably is the same level as Pizza Hut, actually. Let's be real. Panera Bread? Haven't been to in years. Don't really care for it. I'll put it F tier. Don't care. Long John Silver's? I don't really like fish. a w All-American Food? I only get this on my way up to the mountains, and it's just pretty me mediocre. It's pretty mediocre at best. Like, probably C tier. Sonic? actually fire not not too fire it's it's like yeah it's like a b tier subway i'll give a solid a tier taco bell probably in terms of like the real fast food like baja fresh is a little less fast foody taco bell is a solid actually i'll put it i'll put it a tier <laughs> waffle house bro freaking awful house man wendy's honestly one of the few fast food places that i feel like deteriorated over the years mcdonald's went from like f tier to b tier and wendy's in my mind went from like s tier growing up to just B tier. It just didn't, it never got better. It really felt, actually, I'll put Wendy's at C tier. I'd probably rather go to McDonald's at this point. It's just not very good. Wiener Snitchel, absolute terribly, absolute terrible. Okay, Whataburger, I have had this kind of recently in Texas. It's like B tier for me. It's about the same as McDonald's. Um, Wingstop, pretty fire. A tier. I haven't had Zaxby's in a minute. I haven't had this in a while. I would put this in never had, but like, I, I haven't had it recently. So I'll just put it in never had. I, have, I haven't had it recently. And I don't think any of these I've had recently or like at all that is my fast food tier list there's a lot of things i need to try apparently but 
There you go. Those are my favorites, my least favorites. If you're new to the Keo 2 channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you want to see more and you want to stop by more, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you later. Bye.